Hey guys, so this is makeup inspired by My Little Pony, and this is for a contest entry. There will be a look for the more wearable look and then the more creative look, but it's for a contest entry. Um, Sunny Shine is having a contest where you choose a look from Kathy, who's the owner of B Slap Cosmetics, which is the B word, but I don't swear, so... Um, you choose a look that she's done and you get like inspired by it and you do something off of it. So um, I chose this one, this hot pink look she did. It's like hot pink and red. The reason why is because there was this pony called um, Tabby and I had her and she was those colors. And the moment I saw this I was like, Tabby! So I got inspired off of that and I did it like as if it was my own runway show and we were doing neon look for the runway and so I chose neon makeup and just bright like crazy kiddish like runway makeup so if you don't like it I don't really care um I care if Sunny Shine likes it, Sabina and Kathy but not if you weirdos who like to bug me anyway so I hope you guys enjoy it and take care bye this is actually a different day because I recorded the beginning of the video the day I did the My Little Pony look and something happened to it so I have to redo it now so, the first thing we're going to do is take the Coastal Sense palette, and we're going to take the um, Pink Row, the Four Shadow, and you are going to put that just all over the lid. Now, you're going to need a really hot pink color, and I'm going to use Afterglow from Tailor Made Minerals, and it is like, just like straight up hot pink, like crazy style hot pink. Um, a color similar to it in the Coastal Sense palette is the second one in the pink row, but it's like way, way more hotter than that. Well, you're going to take some of that, and then you're going to put that on your lid, okay? On your lid, and then blend it into the crease. And then bring it like a little bit above it, the crease, like that much. So it's gonna ha you're gonna have that pink from the Coastal Sense and then the hot pink right there. So then from the Coastal Sense palette, you're gonna take the red color right there. You're gonna take that and you are gonna mix it in with this hot pink only on the lid, only on the lid. Don't go to the crease or anything, just keep it on the lid. And take a white shadow and just um, put it as the highlighter and blend it in with the pink right there. Now get an orange color and I'm going to use the Coastal Sense palette again and I'm going to use the fourth shadow up in the orange row which is like the brightest orange in the palette. Take that and put it around the tear duct and then the lower lash line. Now you're going to need like a, br a brownish bronzy color and I'm going to use this one from Scandalous and it's called Mo Moccasin. They're a really good company. Like my primer got lost in the mail when during Christmas and that's when I ordered it. So they gave me a free shadow. So that was really nice of them. So good customer service. Anyways, you're going to put that like really close to the lower lash line. Like really close to it. Then apply mascara to your top and bottom lashes. Line your lash line. And put fake eyelashes on if you want. There you go, and then put whatever you want in your waterline. Um, for this one, I'm going to put brown.
well, lots of it I had to do off of camera because it just starts dying on me and stuff, and it takes too long. But basically, just what I used for the shadows was the Coastal Sense palette, the green right here, the blue right here, the orange right there, the yellow right there, and for the pink, I used the Afro Afterglow from Taylor Made Minerals. And then um, just use the Mayron palette for all the face painting and to paint my lips white. And then just rhinestones for the eyebrow, lips, and then flower rhinestones around the face. So I hope you like it.